Hey guys, what's up? Forever Bound over here, and welcome to my first part of my free part mixing tutorial. Today we're gonna be looking at cutting off unwanted frequencies, and we're gonna be using Parametric EQ2 from Fruity Loops to do this. So I started to make a really simple melody for you guys, and I'm just gonna show you quickly how this is sounding, so you guys have an impression what we're gonna do. This is the first melody without any cutting. And this is going to be the end result after cutting the frequencies off. So let's get straight into it. Okay, so the reason, first of all, why we want to cut off the frequencies is that if there are too many bass notes or too many f instruments playing bass notes, the mix will actually start to sound muddy and we don't like that. We want to have a crystal clear mix. So the thing what we can do is to take off the bass notes from the melodies that don't really need them or the synths and sounds that don't really need them and only let the real bass that we designed to make those low notes play. That way we get a really crystal clear mixing and this is what we like. So I already put uh, the synth into the first mixer track over here and we can instantly start to add our effects. So we're going to use the Fruity Parametric EQ2 which comes standard with Fruity Loops. The reason why I like this is, as I said, it comes standard with Fruity Loops, it has a really nice interface and you can see also which notes are being played. So as you can see I'm just gonna play the melody real quick and you will start to see in which spectrum the frequencies are playing and also how many. So as you could see there were actually some frequencies playing over here which are the bass notes and this is also what we can hear. Now how can we actually cut them away to make a more clean sound and then later on we can layer it with bass and other sounds. How we're gonna do that? We're gonna do that simply by going to the first band that's over here, right click it and choose type. We wanna choose the high pass but as you can see there are multiple types that you can use. In this case we're gonna choose the high pass as I said before. So we already have a pretty simple cut over here. By using the frequency knob over here or either the band right now, we can go make it go left and right and decide from where we want to start cutting the frequencies off. However, as we want to have a more harder cut to create more space for our bass, we're not only going to change the type, but we're also going to change the order or better said the steepness of our curve. So we're going to choose steep number 8, which is gonna make the steepest cut that's available right now for us. Next to that we can not only choose how steep we want the curve, how we place it, but we can also choose the bandwidth of the curve. Now with the bandwidth of the curve in this particular case, it means that we can make it either steeper or less steep, as you can see. We put it around 55% in this case to make it a bit steeper. However, if you're having different kinds of um, types to cut off frequencies you can or add frequencies of course you can use the bandwidth to make that spectrum bigger or smaller which I will show in a little bit. As I'm going to the 7 bandwidth I'm going to choose type and I'm going to choose low pass. The reason why I'm going to choose low pass is that I want to cut off a little bit of the high frequencies. The reason why I want to cut off a little bit of the high frequencies is that we want to create more space for in our mixing so that when we start to master we have more room left to master it with. So let's just turn up the bandwidth again to around 55% and also use order and steep 8. As you can see we have a pretty steep cutting on both sides. Now we're gonna put this around 18k, there you go. We don't really hear much of this part and it's giving us a little bit extra space to play with in the overall mixing and mastering when we're going to those parts of the track. Now we do not only want to cut off some of the frequencies, we also want to boost a little bit to give it a little bit more brightness in this case. So I'm going to take the sixth band, I'm just going to go shove it up a little bit to the right and then take it up um, a little bit up to around here, I think around 10k will be cool, like that. And as you can see the bandwidth is pretty big, but I don't want to have a li little bit smaller bandwidth because I don't want to um, like push more than we need to. So I'm just gonna take down the bandwidth a little bit with the bandwidth knob and as you can see only a smaller area is actually getting boosted right now. And this is how it sounds right now. 
So it might sound really clean actually and really like maybe cheapies because with the bass it sounded a lot warmer but right now we're ready to add multiple layers of instruments and maybe bass and other things so that in the overall in the end the mixing sounds a lot better. I hope this gives you guys an idea how I make my mixes and also how to make better mixes and also actually how to cut frequencies. I hope you guys like this video. If you do, don't forget to press that like button. Comment down below what you liked and to subscribe for more videos. And I will catch you guys next time.